Welcome to the Focus Sport Preview Show. I'm Sheree Kinnear. Joining me, News Talk ZB and Herald Sports Reporter Lachlan War as we look ahead at the weekend's sport. But first, here's all you need to know about what's to come. The weekend opens with a quiet Friday, just a late night game of football when the Wellington Phoenix play Adelaide United at 9.35. Then on Saturday, things start to ramp up with the Supercars Super Sprint getting underway at the bend before the Crusaders face the Chief in the grand final of this year's Super Rugby Aotearoa season in Christchurch. Two Sundays Supercars continue before the Warriors play the Sea Eagles at 4 o'clock. Then back-to-back -back netball action sees the Robin Hood Stars play the Southern Steel in the Mainland Tactics, the Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic in the ANZ Premiership. The Breakers then close the weekend against the Wildcats in Perth. So Super Rugby Aotearoa, the final is here and a chance for the Crusaders to do it again. Lachlan, are we going to see a battle here or do you think it's going to be more of a clinical Crusaders? Well, sure, you can't be blamed thinking that this will be an easy Crusaders win. I mean, this is the fifth consecutive year they're in a position to win a Super Rugby title. Of course, they won three straight when Scott Robertson first turned up in the multi-country competition. This is the second year of Aotearoa. They are at home, you know, it's, it's tough to beat them there. They haven't lost a knockout game in that stretch under Robertson as well, of course. But they are going up against a very, uh, I guess, motivated Chiefs side who have won five of their last six. I mean, I think we can kind of put last week's loss to the side that they fielded a very rotated team. They're winning those little moments as well, the Chiefs. They've really turned things around in terms of just the end of the game, getting up, uh, whether it's decision-making from their halves, their playmakers, whether it's better discipline, maybe the breakdown, the set piece. They're sort of making those match-winning plays and getting ahead, and there's a lot of confidence within that team. Whether that makes you know that's enough to get over the line against the Crusaders down in Christchurch, the Chiefs haven't won there since 2016, uh, so it'll be it'll be tough for them. Um, it, yeah, I think it will be tight tighter maybe than some think but uh, it's hard to see the Crusaders losing this one. You have mentioned confidence there but you know they have been pretty honest about that pressure still being on them to win it this year again. Now Crusaders forwards coach Jason Ryan here's what he had to say earlier in the week. You know we know that the Chiefs are obviously on a high at the moment there's a lot of hype around them and as there should be you know they're playing some good rugby so um, I don't know if it helps or not, but we definitely experienced some big moments and we look forward to that. Um, they're scrummaging really well as a unit, uh, they're really connected and you know they're, they're going to be a, uh, a good battle for us on, on Saturday night. Well, some pretty honest words there from Jason and he touched a little bit on the Chiefs scrum. How do you feel like their dominance in that area could affect the game? Well the thing about the Chiefs scrum Sheree is that like their performances it's really flipped since you know that loss to the Crusaders which was their second one to start the season. From that moment they've really dominated in that area of the game, beaten the likes of the Hurricanes and the Highlanders and the Blues and whatnot. and you know one of their uh, props Sione Mafaleo made a comment I think uh, last week it was that they sort of are playing more as a group now, they're focusing less on what they can do as an individual and are just working more as a pack and that change has really just coincided with their victories, they're making those winning plays, you know, a fortnight ago against the Hurricanes they got a scrum penalty on full time, Damian McKenzie stepped up, kicked a penalty, won the game, so they're sort of making those match winning plays with the scrum where it matters clearly and I think the Crusaders clearly have that on their, on their mind, you know, they, they, they embarrassed that Chiefs scrum back in Christchurch when they last played there. Uh, I think they're a little nervous this time around knowing that that's a wounded pack and one that's actually really lifted its performance since. Well, something else we've got this weekend is motorsport. I know you love your motorsport. Lachlan Shane Van Gisbergen, he'll be looking to redeem himself after placing second in the last race after what was a really amazing start to the supercar season. Do we expect to see him return to form this weekend? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, he won the first six races of the season, which was incredible in its own right. The form dropped a little bit uh, to end in Tasmania. I mean, a little bit. We've been picky. He came second and sixth. Those are still pretty handy points in the bigger picture of the championship. Uh, but they're at the bend this weekend in South Australia. He doesn't have the best record there. He's won two out of, I think, the ten races they've had there since the track was brought into the championship. But, I mean, he's the form driver. He's the best in the field right now. He's on the best team. Red Bull Racing, they've been in form really for the last ten or so years. Uh, and this year they don't really have that competition from Penske, so they're back on top. Uh, I, I think it would be pretty pretty handy to think that Shane's going to get at least a podium and I think a, a win or two there, definitely. And some netball as well, particularly with the Stars playing the steel at home. Now that game could shuffle around the leaderboard a little bit, of course the Stars are on top. But looking back at the last couple of years, they haven't really been as dominant as they have been so far, at least consistently. Mm. What do you think has been contributing to their success so far? Well you're right, they've been there or thereabouts the last couple of years. I think they came last in 2018 and then they made a final in 2019. They were in the mix last year of course. 
The points difference, uh, well, the goals difference, rather, in particular, has been uh, has been very impressive. They've got the best in the uh, competition through three games so far, with I think 22. They also have the best shooting duo. Maya Wilson and Jamie Hume rank at the top. I think it's 166 goals they have, um, which is the best out of any team's uh, scoring duo. So that's clearly been you know one of their strengths. And taking on the Steel, who have actually looked pretty good considering they lost some of the talent to injury and moving to other teams in the offseason, highlighted by Jenny Crampton, of course. So I do think that they could give them a real push this deal, but the Stars really look like the, uh, the early favourites to win this ANZ Premiership. Yeah, they certainly do. And, and that game, that gets underway just after 4 o'clock on Sunday, if you want to catch all the action from that. And in between, of course, motorsport league and basketball on Sunday. Plenty there for you to choose from across the weekend, though. And I'll be back on Monday to wrap all the action. Thanks, Lachlan, for joining me. I'm Sheree Kinnear. This has been your Focus Sport preview show. We'll catch you next time.